subscribe world action and reaction news warn and press bell button for getting notification of all future updates. Tejas Mark II Next Level Fighter Jet for Indian Air Force Tejas Mark II is being developed to meet the latest Indian Force requirements and will incorporate fifth-generation jet fighters elements which are intended to make way into the HAL Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA. It is being developed for the use of Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. After India scrapped single-engine fighter, SEF, for 114 units. News coming in is that Indian Air Force has agreed to procure 201 units of stretched version of indigenously developed LCA Tejas MK2 which will come with host of improvements over Tejas MK1 and MK1A and the project is likely to go official by end of this year. DRDO Chief Drive S. Christopher also confirmed that first Tejas MK2 will make its first flight by 2022 and will be ready to enter production by the time production run of 83 MK1A ordered by IAF comes to an end by 2025-26. The MK2 is an improvement over LCA Air Force MK1A with higher thrust engine. This aircraft will have improved survivability, maintainability, and obsolescence mitigation. Active Electronically Scanned Array, AESA, Radar, Unified Electronic Warfare Suite, UEWS, and Onboard Oxygen Generation System, ABUGS, are some of the state-of-the-art technologies planned to be integrated. The cockpit design has been improved with bigger size, Smart Multifunction Displays, MFD, and Smart Head-Up Display, HUD. There were reports LCA Tejas Mark II will be powered with GEF 414 and 6 engine but now there are speculations that it will be powered by M88 Kaveri engine. The idea of a M88 engine for LCA stems from India's desire to resurrect the Kaveri engine program which was originally started in the 1990s to develop an indigenous engine for India's only fighter jet program. The Kaveri engine program was abandoned as the development did not meet the requirements of powering an engine for the LCA when it enters production stage. Snecma team which had access to Kaveri engine program earlier had studied its flaws and knew exactly ways to fix it with their own technology but previous negotiations for joint collaboration failed due to high price asked by France, this time India was offered free fix for Kaveri engine program and our military planners seemed more than delighted to grab that offer since it did not involve any additional funding from Indian side. General Electric refusal to provide complete transfer of technology, TOT, for F404GE in 20 turbofan engine lead to the development of the M88-4 e Kaveri engine. Final cockpit design layout for Tejas MK2 has been frozen. MK2 will sport touch-based 2 6x8 main display with smart MFDs and 1 5x5 smart MFD which will have day and night mode. The biggest game changer, one that would make the Tejas a truly formidable multi-role fighter, could be the ongoing project to develop an active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar. This advanced radar, which only US companies have truly mastered, is being developed for the Tejas by the DRDO Laboratory. Electronics Research and Development Establishment, LRDE Whether or not AESA radar is developed in time for the first Tejas Mark II, this radar will be retrofitted onto these fighters as soon as it is certified, says the ADA chief. Indigenously developed UTOM AESA radar for Tejas MK2 has completed software development for air-air submodes and have begun development of software which will allow air-to-ground modes which are crucial for aircraft to carry out high-resolution mapping. Multiple grounds moving target detection and track, combat identification, electronic warfare and ultra-high bandwidth communications will be completed by year-end and IAF and ADA along with LRDE will carry out project review at the same time. 
Major modifications are being made to the LCA Tejas MK1A airframe to accommodate the slightly larger engine and advance avionics along with high fuel capacity. Tejas is now medium category aircraft. I think MCA Tejas will come with several modifications in airframe. MCA Tejas contain high powered and bigger engine that can generate 100 plus Nm power like F-16. Canad will be incorporated in front section of aircraft to achieve high degree of angle of attack. Final cockpit design layout for Tejas MK2 has been frozen. MK2 will sport touch-based 26 times 8 main display with smart MFDs and 15 times 5 smart MFD which will have day and night mode. The biggest game changer, one that would make the Tejas a truly formidable multi-role fighter could be the ongoing project to develop an active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar. This advanced radar, which only US companies have truly mastered, is being developed for the Tejas by the DRDO Laboratory, Electronics Research and Development Establishment, LRDE. Whether or not AESA radar is developed in time for the first Tejas Mark II, this radar will be retrofitted onto these fighters as soon as it is certified, says the ADA chief. Indigenously developed UTOM AESA radar for Tejas MK2 has completed software development for air-air submodes and have begun development of software which will allow air-to-ground modes which are crucial for aircraft to carry out high-resolution mapping. Multiple grounds moving target detection and track, combat identification, electronic warfare and ultra-high bandwidth communications will be completed by year-end and IAF and ADA along with LRDE will carry out project review at the same time. Next up for testing is a sophisticated onboard oxygen generating system, developed by the DRDO's Defense Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory, DEVIL which continuously collects atmospheric oxygen and supplies it to the pilot. Today, the capacity of the oxygen bottles that contemporary fighters carry limit mission times, when oxygen runs low, the pilot heads back to base. Now, the onboard oxygen generating system, along with mid-air refueling and the Tejas Mark II increased fuel load, will allow three to four hours of continuous flying. More than most fighters in the world. Other main upgrades includes higher thrust engine structural weight reduction. Upgraded flight control computer in flight refueling retractable probe on board oxygen generation system and increased fuel capacity of Mark II. The closest competitors of LCA Tejas MK.2 are J10C, JF17 BK.3 and F16 Block 70 along with Saab Gripeni in single engine category. Comparing to its competitor GRIPENE, Tejas MK2 will be equally potent or even better and can definitely be the backbone of light category aircrafts of the IAF. Comparing to PAF JF-17 its actual enemy Tejas MK2 will be way more potent, agile, more maneuverable, more advanced avionics, new EU, RWR and inbuilt jamming pod. More added stealth with powerful engines will make MK2 overshoot the technical capabilities criteria. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news. Warn.